Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Be Right Back and yes, I'm back. And what you see here is another pair of fork that came off from a 2007 Silverado. And the reason why I have this uh, another pair is I'm going to paint this into black. Because this set of triple trees that I bought is black. So while I'm waiting to that paint on my fork to get dry, I decided to replace the stem bearings of this uh, triple tree. And you can check that video I just previously uploaded. And this is the result of what I did. And how did I do it? Well, you may find out after this intro. So here's another pair of forks that I'm going to DIY paint and the first thing that I'm going to do is to clean these forks thoroughly with soap to make sure it is free from grease or oil. Then I use a 800 grit sandpaper to clean the top coat on these forks and then I wash it again with soap. And then once it dried, I sprayed it with this uh, duplicolor prep spray. And what this prep spray does is cleans and degreases the surface before painting it. Then after that, my next step is primer. And I use this Spray Max Epoxy Primer Black. And this is the 2K Epoxy Primer, which means it is a two components or two chemical components which is one is the paint and the second is the resin hardener and then once it get dried at least after four hours I use a 1000 grit sandpaper to remove dust nibs and then I sprayed it again with duplicolor prep spray to make sure everything is smooth for the next coat of this Spray Max Epoxy Primer Black. And that will be the final coat for the Epoxy Primer Black. So there's only two coats of the Epoxy Primer Black. Make sure you do it as I did. So after the first coat, make sure to prep it again for the second coat. And the same procedure that I did for this uh, four stanchion covers. So after 24 hours and two coats of this epoxy primer black, I use a 1200 grit sandpaper, then the duplicolor prep spray to clean up. And then for the paint, I use this duplicolor high performance wheel coating in satin black. I chose this paint because they are known for durability. That's why I did the same procedure to these stanchion covers so after 24 hours prior to the curing of the paint again I use a 1200 grit sandpaper to clean up the dust nibs for the next step which is the top coat so for the top coat I use this spray max clear mat and by the way, these are 2K, it means two components, and they are known for durability for a very high chemical, gasoline, and weather resistance for high quality and long-term sealing. So I did a two coat of this Spray Max 2K clear coat or clear mat. And then I did the same procedure to those four stanchion covers. So the curing period that I set to this front end of my motorcycle is 48 hours. 
So while I'm waiting for that curing period, I started installing the lower triple tree. So after the installation of the lower triple tree, I installed the lower stanchion covers. So after this lower stanchion covers, I started installing the forks. And once the fork was set into proper height and alignment, it's time to install the upper stanchion covers and make sure that the upper triple is loose so you still have some room to move the upper stanchion covers. And now that everything is set, it's time to tighten up the triple clamps. And now it's time to install the headlight. And then this front tire and see how it looks like. And now everything looks good and so this is what it looks like definitely the block front and looks like a badass compared to this uh, original chrome